morning guys, it's nearly Friday dinner time. Uh, well after another night of blooming heavy rain, we've got the sun out, but it's getting cold. It's getting cold. My wife's up here today somewhere. I think she'll be talking to old Maggie. Right, chickens, as you can see, they want to get out in the sun. We'll get them sorted first. Hi right, guys. I ain't gonna do too much because I've got the wife on me, but I'm, I'm taking that net off there so I can then start to get uh, poo inside it and all. I'll have to go away. Thanks for that advice, Brian, about the uh, the beetle or the bug, whatever. Yeah, I'll give him a, I'll give him a good trim. I don't know what to do with them two areas there. One of the areas I was going to do uh, raspberries. That's what the posts are for. I don't think I've hit them in far enough yet. And this area here, I was going to keep the courgettes again. And then I can still get along if I have to, but I don't know. Right, this is the main job to get this off. Right. There we go. That orange crap is off. Uh, break down so easily. I'll just have to do some weeding sometime. I've got another roll there, which I want to get rid of. And that white stuff. Don't like that, it cut into the, the uh, stems now. Morning guys, Saturday morning. Well, damp. It's cold today. There's a few people coming up here today. There's been an AGM, I believe, but I don't go to that because all they do is slag each other off up there. I've been to one of them and I walked out. Dreadful how men talk to each other and women talk to each other. They really are. So, as you can see, there's a heavy dew. Had more rain. Rain, 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 rain. I'll tell you one thing, them greens down there they are kicking and all, except for that end where I was losing a bit of sunshine. Put a bloody polytunnel there. That's now caved in. Right, so, I was gonna to start to try and move some of these down there slowly, but I think what I'll do, if I can, I've gotta get a big barrel load of poo to go in here. I'm gonna move this lot into, possibly into that one. Put some poo in there. Oh, Alice, Ali. No, the, the poo don't, the pig's poo don't smell. I suppose you could say it clear your nostrils, but the old girl, she she she, she didn't mind. She just just did quip that I put her near some poo. Right, guys, I'm gonna crack on because I'm not trying to get some for this kettle's boiled because he's already told me bobbers to put the kettle on. Kettle boys they are, but they're gonna be very slow. I've got some more at home, but they are standing up most of them. Lettuce, so I suppose we could take the leaves now if we wanted a bit. Tomatoes, I just don't want to crawl all over that lot. All right, off we go. All right, I just got the lawnmower I paid a ten Start that again. I've just started the lawnmower I paid a tenner for. Oh, that's bloody brilliant. That's brilliant. So I've just gone over the top and done an even line because that side is not mine. <coughs> I can't get in touch with them. I ain't seen the secretary that one of the polytunnel. I think that's only a 15 mil pipe. So the wind has uh, bashed the end down. The cover's all worn already. You can see daylight right through it now. So whatever you do people, don't buy these ones like that up there cheap. Buy something 25 mil upwards frame size. I tell you, I bought myself, mine was 32. Yeah, look, it's blown in. Here we go. Here we go. What's he up to, Tony? Now can make some noise. Right, I'm uh, going to take some of these stalks from and clear a little bit. I've got a barrel load of poo I need to put into the. What's his name? I'm going to just have a general tidy up for a little while. These lettuces, well, as you can see. Look like the pigeons and that are starting to eat them, and I'll, I'll end up pulling these up and give them to the chickens. But that's that's use to them, that's made. The chickens will love it. Right, 
off we crack and I'll show you when I've tied it up or what done something. Strange that one all on its own look. All on its own that one. It's Wilton. And the one here in front here. It's not a frost or nothing. It's like somebody's just popped along I've sprayed a bit. I'll have to put my wildlife camera back up here. I've got two and I wanted to hide one of them up even better but uh, I moved everything so I couldn't do it. So that's what I'll do. I'll put my wildlife camera on here. This one has shriveled. It's not liking it. I don't know whether I've got a replacement for it. I think I have. Yes, I have. I've got one in a polyton. I should have left a tag on here somewhere. It's probably under the grass. Right guys, never mind. I have managed to crack on with a bit, but that's a bit heavy underfoot with the wheel bar, the two, even the two wheeler. So I've just got a couple of those sprout stalks for the chickens there having to pack away. I'm now going to uh, get a couple of these old lettuces and all. See, nothing's wasted on this plot, which is good. Uh, yes, as you can see, I'll put a couple of loads in there. I ain't worrying too much about that weed. What I'll do is I'll get inside there one dryish day and I'll dig it out and then I'll rake all this lot over and I'll let it just sink in. And then when it comes to it, I'll put my little, little root vector through it. I'll put one here and all. I've, uh, I still don't know what to do here. I don't know, I think, I think what I should really do, because raspberries get big, don't they? Wide. I should really take this middle row out, put the posts in either end of this middle row, put them in, put a third one in further up, so there's three posts all together. I was watching someone the other day doing raspberry canes with wire, and uh, then, Put some raspberries along where that line is sort of thing if you can understand what i mean so i'll have room either side to harvest cover and to get to my gooseberries i just let there's a bit more wasted space that's what I, I don't like to you to lose you know if you can understand what i mean if it's not growing anything that's wasted so i'll uh, yeah I'll, i think i'll crack on that's what i think i might do I could change my mind. I've got all them tubs. I thought about putting them tubs all the way along a certain section because look at this. Look at these daffodils. Daffodils coming through. I think I've got tulips and the other one over there. See, I've got apples still on the tree. Got a few people up here today. They've had an AGM then. Not a lot going on there. Ah. But the plot is tidy in a way. Tons of weeds. I think I've still got apples on the trees, but I best dare say they're quite nice to eat. Right, so we're slowly getting through it. There's a heck of a lot to move, but there's plenty of time to move it. I'm going to take a couple of them sprouts from today or more and let the old girl uh, sort them out. Right. Keep my eyes on these ones anyway. I don't understand why that one up there all on its own, but perhaps that's a fatal one. I don't know. These look like they're, they're coming along, am I? To be quite honest. <laughs> look like a weed, but it ain't. That's an only around collie they are. And these are cabbages. Actually, if you take a good look at it, this uh, pig's poo is really moist. And that's actually stayed moist over there. So, I, if I, the way it is, I could plant straight through later on, but that's got a long way to go yet before we even think of putting anything in here. The chickens have had a bit of time out. I'm now going to get them some of them sprout tops. They get grumpy this time of year. They really do. The little old girl, she's getting old now. I was off to a load of chickens, but I'm not having them. It's me done for the day. Uh, <laughs> I've just been told I've left a fork down there. So, uh, I've got another bit. Yeah, that's my fork. 
left it out. Yeah, I've got some pit rock and then we'll just come down. He's trying to trim his plot with a battery one, and he's only got one battery. Right, I'll sort that out during the week. Then they've, they've now cheered me up by telling me it's going to rain tomorrow. So, stay safe, everybody. I've totally started his blooming stream. I'm glad I'm cool. I've got to put this somewhere. Alright, guys, stay safe. Don't forget. Don't watch the news. Watch me instead of more fun. Bye for now, all of you. Take care. Morning, guys. Monday morning. I give it a miss yesterday. It was so wet and damp and miserable and raining all the time. Well, today it's damp, wet, foggy, miserable, and cold. Very cold. I can't feel my fingers today. So it's all coming now. Here we go. Winter's coming. So I might try and move a couple of barrel loads. But I wanted it to be dry so I could just rotate the ground, then put the loads on top. Uh, they're desperate to get out, so they'll be going under the cover. I've got some food for them. Oh, I've got to leave. Look at this. Oh, sh blimey. Never mind. We've got another one somewhere. Alright, guys, as you can see, we've still got thick mist. They just want to be out of the place. Right, well, that's the. Uh, onion set, so I had 250 from Wilkinson's mixture. That's my garlic, and they're actually, because of the temperatures, they're going blood and mad. Look, oh, I've got to put some in the end there. These are my leeks. They're kicking on big time, but I knew it was still got some rust. There's a few up there, not many. Not many. Right. I've got some sweets over there, they're not, well they're way behind, but it could be Christmas after, after Christmas time. I took some of these sprouts from Misty, and she froze them up, she blanched them, and then freeze them. Uh, I've just managed to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven barrel loads, and I can't walk now, so I'm, so I'm going quackered. But uh, what, I, what I'll do is I'll rake that lot on, through the inside. That's what I normally do. I rake it through the inside into there and I'll leave it. And then I'll pile it this side and I'll start to pull it towards me greenhouses and chickens. So I level it out. I've been, I like to put a, a, a thick mulch, if you can understand. So when it come down, it's breaking down next year. And I, I, I've got the weather to rotivate it in. I rotivate it in. Because my spuds are going in here next year, they've been ordered. I ordered by the sack, it's £29 a sack, 20 kilos at the moment. Uh, so, okay, Jackie Chan's come up here. I'll, uh, I'm going to put my tubs containers in this section here. He's found the horn of his car. So he's done, he's found the horn of his car. He thinks I'm now going to pour him a cup of coffee out. Which I am. <laughs> right guys, uh, I'm still I'm still debating what to do here. I'm, honestly, I'm a little bit muddled in the air at the moment. I like a lot of people because we got now the Christmas coming on and the old girl's Christmas mood, Christmas this, what the presents for this, what presents for that. Some family members are helpful, some family members are not. Right, off we go. Oh, I've just had the... I think it's the chairman, all the chairman, she's in charge of the whole lot. Up here, having a chin wag with us, and Jack. And uh, I want everybody to put the money straight in through the bank account, which I don't mind. I can do, transfer. But because in this, this area now, we have another bank now closing. So we've only got one bank for the whole area. Because I like to use cash myself. Right, as you can see, I've cracked on this lot. It'll be all raked back towards the wasn't, but it's very heavy, so I'm not going to rake it at the moment. And I'm still debating what to do about this. Really, these posts what will be in the middle of this. I think if I, if they're there, where they are, they're going to be too close to my trees. I don't know. Last time I had raspberries, I think, I think there was summer. We used to lose so many though. We did. I've been trying to tidy this section up. 
The compost bin is dropping really good there. Yeah, they were talking about the uh, secretary for this. There's, there's several people who want to stand, actually. Several people who want to stand for the secretary's job. But going to do it after Christmas. Uh. Oh, there. Right. That's going to take some moving. What I will do with what's left, half of that will go into the larger compost bin there. And then I'll leave that. That will rot down even quicker. I've heard somebody had the dog let the dog pill on the path for me. Thank you very much. There's only a couple of people who let their dogs run around when nobody's up here. These leaks, well, <laughs> that's my friends put them in for me. And play, play me up something rotten up here sometimes. We've had a hell of a lot of rain. Really have. I'd just better put that cover on there. I'm hoping a day like today would have been ideal to have the bonfire. I really should have, <laughs> probably should have done it. I could have put a uh, gas burner out. Once it's going, even though it's damp wood, I'll soon go. I could have got two into you, bloody probably going to fry my leaks. Can't be bothered, you can't be worried about it. Right, let's get that container. As you can see, these collies and these uh, cabbages for next year, they're looking okay. Yeah, they really are. And collies don't look like collies, to be quite honest. Oh. Right, so I'm having a good look. And uh, I've now got to just clean one of the houses out. Jack's just put the kettle on. I've been waiting for him to do. I'm going to have another cuppa. I'm going over to pick the wife up and take the dog out somewhere. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, it's bad. Having a... I lose a bit of weight. I, I deliberately lose weight. My, my wife, more like hell at me. I lose weight to take the weight off my ankle. I feel a little bit better then. All right, guys. I will uh, possibly put this up tonight with a few other clips. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for thumbs up or thumbs down. Please subscribe if you like me. If you don't like me, don't subscribe. I'll tell you one thing now. It's a lot better to watch me than watching news. I'm more fun. See you later.